Sunday, the first day of autumn. We are in my kitchen. Rico is prepping food. Oh we go, Rico, would you like to tell us what you're doing? Prepping the prawns. <laughs> Quite simple, cleaning the prawns. You're just cleaning them, you're just... Deveining them. Are you deveining them? What's that? Is that their poo-poo you're taking it's out? Is that the prawns poo-poo? Let's see. Is it? So that one seems to be all right. Quite she clean, was yep. yeah, she was one that has its poo poo. The vein. The vein. Oh, they're all quite clean. Are they clean? See, maybe they've been deveined already. Well, the first couple went. Were they not? No. Okay, what are you making? I see potatoes here. Is that not for tomorrow's dinner? Yeah, that's for tomorrow's dinner. Although I might cut a few of them and make a few chips for myself today. For yourself, of you course. Don't chips, no, you I said. don't. Don't want chips. I'm going to just put them in a small pan and fry them in olive oil and we're going to have prawns and clams and I'll have chips. Okay, mm. so I'm just going to have prawns and clams and salad? Yeah. That's all I'm having. Better make sure there's plenty of prawns and clams for me then to fill me up. Mmm, might have to have a bit of bread. So the potatoes and the tomatoes are for tomorrow and we have the lamb. Yeah. We might prep this tonight as well get it out of the way because we're going to go to church in the morning and uh, that way when we come home dinner will be ready so today it's clams and prawns and tomorrow it's a roast so it's the roast just the way mama used to make it um so it's basically let me show you i showed it i showed it in my other vlog so it's basically that if anybody would like to see that is the ingredients just there so you can just kind of screenshot it if you like and right there is the method basically throw everything in a pan that's it i'm gonna my mum's got one of these um round senior <laughs> what do you call these in english she said what it was yeah, i said it in greek i never said it in english it's words. like a tin tray isn't it it's, it's a tin, <laughs> he says it's a tin tray yeah. right I'm going to bring it over when I go to Cyprus. You see when you go to all the Cypriots? But a round one like that, can you? It just reminds me of our roasts, because my mum used to do everything in the, these kind of round tins. Anyway, if anybody is looking for this book, because I got a couple of messages from my last vlog, I looked on Amazon. You can find it on Amazon, but it's unavailable. <laughs> But I think you can get it on eBay, okay? So it's traditional recipes of Cyprus. I'll show you the front of it again. And the author is the, I know I showed it in my life. I know, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but for those of you that didn't catch it, there you go, Anthos Christodoulou. That's the author of the book. So that's what we're having tomorrow. And you know, the tomorrow's classes have all been well, the majority of classes at the gym have uh, been cancelled tomorrow because it's September weekend and a lot of people are away on holiday so they're finding it hard to get cover for the classes. So some of the girls had planned to go for a walk and they said to me, we're going for a walk tomorrow, do you fancy joining us as some going to church people? I haven't been for ages so Rico and I are taking the opportunity to go to church tomorrow morning and then go and visit friends and family is the plan. Do a quick visit, friends and family, a quick stop off at Boots because I need a moisturiser. Let's still order one. And that's it people, I'm still in my gym gear because I came home and I did a quick tidy up and then I sat down and edited and just got the uh, video uploaded just now five o'clock people there you go so subscribe <laughs> anyway the other thing is I, I keep getting asked to show what I eat in a week I have spoken in my menopause videos basically what I eat in a week but as I'm planning tap let's move out because Rico's making noise as I'm planning to do Vlogtober, let's go to the sitting room. As I'm planning to do Vlogtober, I'll show each day what I'm eating. That way it'll make it easy because really if I made just a video on what I eat in a week, it's really boring because it's porridge every day um, to break my fast and then it's fish and salad. 
I say, I've got my candle on. By the way, people, it is feeling chilly today. Like, like, I think we need to get the heatings on. And then once they use up that candle, I'm going to start burning that candle, which is a crackling candle. So Rico, isn't that, oh, is this the potatoes for your chips? I thought you were putting the potatoes for the roast tomorrow. I'll do both. You just do both? Okay. Right, the recipe says to use butter and vegetable oil, I think it says in here, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we don't use vegetable oils. I, I do not touch vegetable oils. I only, if I'm going to have oil, it's only olive oil I have. So we're going to adapt the recipe to olive oil. Also butter. I don't ever remember my mum using butter to cook anything, if I had to be honest. Right, here's my lamb. So I'm gonna wash that, put it in a tray, and cover it with a quarter cup of lemon. Is what I'm gonna do right now. Here we go, people. See, we're a team. We've always been a team, haven't we, Rico? Just like the old days. <laughs> Isn't that right, Rico? Working side by side, arguing side by side. <laughs> could argue. Could argue. You could argue with yourself. I could argue with myself, could I? <laughs> right, what I'm doing just now is I am squeezing my lemon, my lemon. Okay, so we are doing today's dinner and tomorrow's right. dinner. Honey, potatoes, how many potatoes do you want? Well, how many are you going to eat? That's one third. Where's a quarter? Is that all the lemon we need? No, he's talking about cups. How much you need? That's a quarter cup. Oh, right, okay. That's quite a lot of lemon, Andy. I think I don't think that's not a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference with Rico and I. I never think anything's enough. He always thinks it's too much. That, we like that. Food, That'll do. We? Potatoes. I think right. that's enough. Okay. Oh, there you go. Plenty of lemon here. Really so we need a quarter cup of lemon, and we need half a cup of nettle water just getting all my ingredients together i've washed my meat it is draining at the moment and then i'm going to add everything in my tray okay. okay here is my lamb so it's washed it's drained so this is leg of lamb just chopped into pieces so i'm now going to add my lemon juice there we go, like so, okay I'm now going to add my salt and pepper, it says to add half a cup of butter, so I'm not going to add the butter like I said, so that will be olive oil and then it says half a cup of oil, so I'm just going to add a cup of olive oil. So now the recipe says to arrange the potatoes around the meat, really, I mean personally, I just shoved everything in there and seasoned it in there. I really no, don't understand. Yeah, I really don't understand why we're doing this in parts. But we're, we're going with the recipe, people. Okay? This is a first for me to stick to a recipe. But we're going to go with the recipe. So we're going to add the potatoes now. So I've added the olive oil instead of the butter. Just ha uh, yeah, half a cup. And now I'm going to add my potatoes and season my potatoes. Somebody explain to me why it's done in this way. But... Anyway, okay, it says add two bay leaves. Rico's adding. <laughs> what if this is too strong? No, it won't be too. These are small. The bay leaves and cypress are bigger. All right, okay. Good. So I've seasoned the potatoes as well. So now we're going to add another half a cup of olive oil for the potatoes. And then we're going to cover the potatoes with tomatoes. Add the yeah. olive oil in for the potatoes. And then I'm going to cover the potatoes with tomatoes. There we go. Beautiful. By the way, you know how I've been doing all this research about food and all that? I saw a video today. I don't know if it's true, but apparently tomatoes or the skin of a tomato and the seeds of a tomato are bad for inflammation. I love tomatoes. My inflammation is fine just now, so I'm going to keep eating tomatoes, people. Okay. I don't know if that's to stop them from burning. I don't know either, Andrew. Just one anymore? No. No. Just, just, that'll do. Right. 
Okay. Here we yeah. go. So now we're going to add half a cup of water. Did you put olive oil? Yes, I put the olive oil. There we go. And then we're just going to put it in a moderate oven, which I've had heated. So that's about 160 recourses, a moderate oven. And cook it for an hour. Yeah. Bring it out. Turn everything over and cook it for another hour. And that's it. Easy Sunday roast. And now it's time for a wee glass of organic Prosecco, people. It's that time. Sorry, it's just a <laughs> <laughs> says I'm giving everybody a headache. <laughs> so cheeky. This is why. This is why I'm avoiding going live with Rico. <laughs> because there's certain things that just needed to be edited out that you do not need to hear. <laughs> Pop! It's still popping! Yummy! There we go. I'm trying to hold the camera and pour this in without spilling it everywhere. See? It's okay, people. I'm a woman. I can multitask. Beautiful! Here we go. Yummy! Chin chin! Mm. There's a salad chopped looking absolutely delicious. Okay. What have you got in there? Nothing! <laughs> okay, so it looks like he's cut his onion. Is that chilli there? Yeah. Some chilli. Is this for the clams? Yeah. And the prawns? No, just the clams. Just the clams and parsley we have the clams right here there we go lily is oh. scraping off anything that's left in her bowl <laughs> yes you are aren't you you're feeling hungry i got you more are you are you bulleramo i've just remembered to take my turmeric there we go got had quite a few messages asking me when i spoke about this in my video which one i take this is what i take it has to be this turmeric curcumin um, mm -hmm. yeah whatever and mine is organic and of course for it to absorb you need a black pepper which is in here too there we go i'll link it below but i did link it in my last video as well okay he's just added some olive oil to the pan i'm munching on some feta this is the wine that rico is having there we go it looks like in the glass it's really like initially when we first looked at it we thought it was corked because of the color but it definitely wasn't corked because we are the experts people <laughs> it was our job to know if a wine was corked or not so it's just frying up the prawns now because they were obviously raw prawns what have we got going on in here just spreading off the onion and the garlic Mm-hmm. And then that's for the clams, yeah? Yeah, did you turn that up? No, I never touched it and he's got his chips ready here to fry, people fry. Oh, he's not keeping up with me. Well, <laughs> he's not waiting for me. So he says to me, I'm gonna add this and he adds it. You see, this is again why a line wouldn't work. I'm gonna add the clams now, right? Oh thank goodness for that. So he added wine basically to the uh, onions. You added the chilies as well and the yeah. garlic. Lemon. So adding lemon to the prawns and to this mixture here. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke going on here. There's a lot of smoke going on. The roast is in the oven. Also, the bread is in the oven. Adding domata, the tomato, crushed tomato. He's now added some water to kind of rinse the bottle out there we go so basically in here is olive oil onion garlic chilies tomatoes and it's just gonna add a sprinkling of parsley to the prawns there we go so in there it's just what did you add in there just olive oil and the prawns nothing prawns, else garlic garlic in yep. here wine wine that's it and that's it that's it so did you put the wine and everything before the prawns? No. No. Put the prawns first, no right. oil and the garlic. So olive oil, prawns, 
So did you not saute the, the garlic or anything in yes, there? Yes, the garlic was in. The right. garlic and the prawns. Right, so tell me the, uh, the audio. Olive oil, prawns, garlic. Okay. Good. I'm just going to put these in one at a time okay? There we go. Plans are in and I need to go and change my battery. You're basically just going to stir that in and put the lid on them, aren't you? Yeah. And then any that remain closed, so we are going to bend them. There we go. Okay, so you covered them with... You covered them with... Yeah, was that just to keep them warm? So there's yeah. the prawns there. And... The plants are in there, yummy. Yeah, ready. And Rico's chips, right there. <laughs> there we go. There's my din -dins, people. Clams, prawns, salada, and of course, organic Prosecco. Yummy. And Rico's glasses. Spoiling the view. Here we go. Good morning. Welcome to the... Do you know, I just looked at my watch to check the date and I must have just looked at it and not taken it in. Do you know what day it is? The 26th, is it? Let's see. It's the 25th. Oh! It's uh, your brother-in-law's birthday. It's the 25th of September. Of course it is September weekend. Um, we are on our way to church. So... <laughs> No gym for me this morning. We're going to church and then I want to go and see my friend Gurla as well because she started her chemo on Friday. No, Thursday. Thursday? When did she go for her chemo? Friday. Friday. She went for her chemo Friday. Uh, she's been fine. I messaged her this morning and she said she feels fine up until now. So I don't know if maybe because it's the first one and it's, you know, the more you have, you know, the more effects you get. Anyway, up until this morning she was fine. So that's what we're up to. I think Rico's planning, he wants to go and see his sister as well. So, oh, and we want to go to the Asian shops in Glasgow to pick up some dried pulses as opposed to using tinned ones. We used to be able to get them from Asda. I know that you said you just can't get them anymore, is that right? Get them, get them in Morrison's. You can get them in Morrison's? Yep. It tells me this now. All week I've been saying to him, get some dried pulses, can't get them anymore. It's basically... Well, I said you can't get them in Asda, as, as I don't have them anymore. So why did you not pick them up from Morrison's? I don't go there, that just slip my way. I have to, I have to go there for something. <laughs> Our food, it's something that we want to eat because I don't want to be. You came out with it a couple of days ago. No, no, that's when you decided to listen to me a couple of days ago. Welcome to 40 years of married life. <laughs> so that's I've what. I've got the patience of an angel. People. Honestly. Um. Yeah. It's. Do you know? So it was obviously officially autumn on Friday and um, I don't know, it's that in between weather. It's not really cold. I mean, I was like that. What, what do you, I don't want to really get into dark colours yet. So it's really, it's, I know, decisions, decisions, but it's like that in between weather with whatever you wear doesn't feel right. So I've basically got a mishmash of anything and everything on plus um it's making faces why are you making faces why are you making faces at me not at all anyway that's what we're at <laughs> i love all these old buildings This one's well kept, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Wow. These are all converted into flats, these, aren't they? Yeah. There we go. And then just there is our church. Here we go. To find the parking space over. 
We are at home. I'll do a quick outfit because I haven't just remembered that I haven't done one. So this is a today's outfit. My very old Zara jacket with my very old Karen melon blouse <laughs> and my very annoying jeans and some boots from Zara. That's basically today's outfit. So we have seen everybody, we have been to church, we have been shopping. I'll show you what we bought. Dinner is ready because we cooked it last night. We're just heating up the oven to heat up the dinner. This is what we have. Oh, today's bag. I have my gym gloves here because these were a spare pair of gym gloves I kept in the car, in Rico's car. So I took them out now. Um, I'm just going to use them. I don't need to keep spare gym gloves in the car. See, that's because I'm a just in case person. I even keep spare gym gloves. Anyway, bag of the day today was the Chanel Trendy right here. This is what was inside it. This space right here was for the camera. So my mini pochette, my LV agenda, and my Chanel coin purse. Rico stopped and picked me up some Pinot Grigio, organic Pinot Grigio, because I've kind of had enough of it, this. I just feel now, I don't know, because it's getting colder, it just doesn't... Mm. Yesterday when I had it, I was like, oh, I've had enough of that, so... We're going to stop the Prosecco for now, but I'm still sticking to the organic. So, Lucas just poured himself a glass of this red here. Okay. And um, so, yeah. So, I'm now on the organic uh, flat Pinot Grigio. So, no sparkling. I'm not in the mood for sparkling. If I'm going to have anything sparkling. Still. 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 Okay. If I'm going to have anything st sparkling. I'm going to have sparkling water. That's what I drink through the week. Rico's decided to stop the um, fizzy drinks and try and drink water instead of all the fizzy drinks. He has about three cans of fizzy drink a day, don't you? Yes. Coca-Cola's. So he's going to change that to water. I think um, I'm having an impact on him with all my change of diet. This is what we went for. So we got some black eyed beans, so we got quite a few packets just to have in the house. Will you stop moaning in the background? I'm not moaning in the background, I'm moaning right here next to you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have, we have black, uh, black eyed beans, we have some butter beans, so you just soak them, boil them and also picked up some blanched peanuts just to change up the almonds and all that because uh, that's you know, we all know that's what I snack on garam masala because got that garlic um, some okra I'm just gonna cook that with some tomatoes and some sort of meat um, in the oven some marrows little baby marrows look which I'll cook with the black eyed beans and that's it so I've got some feta cheese oh some chilli powder some wild rockets when I have a salad just now and some raspberries for moi and I picked this up as well because this has got all that it's good for your gut health I've never tried it before I'm going to actually open it just now and see what it is it's white cheese in brine but when I was reading the ingredients it has all that it's something like microbial yeast and all that kind of stuff which is good for your tummy tummy tum tum so that's today's haul okay here's our roast here and our lovely village salad and that's us <laughs>